Hi, boys and girls. It's story time with Mrs. Hennicott. And I'll read you my famous quote by Richard Steele. It says, reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. So when you do your daily activities and you exercise, your body gets stronger. But when you read, you're exercising your mind. So you're getting your mind stronger. Okay, boys and girls, before we proceed to reading our story, let's sing the jingle. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? Wonderful, let's go. I like to read, read, I like to read. Read, R-E-A-D, read, because reading is fun. Do you want to try it by yourself? Let me hear you. Very good. Now I'm going to sing it the last time with you. On the count of three, let's go. One, two, three. I like to read. Read, I like to read. Read, R-E-A-D. Read, because reading is fun. Very good, boys and girls. I'm proud of you. Now we go into our story for today. And the story is entitled, Saved by the Bells. Saved by the Bells. And here we can see Josh and Jen again. But this time, they're standing next to an animal. Who can tell me the name of that animal? I hear donkey, very good. Or mule, wonderful. I won't tell you when we get to the story, you will hear if you were right or wrong. What color is that animal, by the way? Brown, wonderful. And it looks like Jen and Josh are in a desert somewhere, don't you think? I see cactus. Yes, very good, boys and girls. So let's get to reading our story and we will find out what happens in the story. Saved by the bells. Josh, Jen, and Gran hike off to the campsite with Sam, the mule. So the animal there was a mule. If you said mule, you're correct. I will meet you there, Tex yells. When they get to the campsite, Josh hangs Sam's rope on a tree. The campsite is close to a cave. Gran and the kids peek in the cave. Drip, drip, drip. The cave is damp and dim. Do you know the meaning of the word damp, boys and girls? Very good. Damp means wet, okay? No sun shines in the cave. Must have been scary. Look at their faces. Josh, Jen, and Gran hide deep in the cave. They get lost. Oh, oh. Have you ever gotten lost before? I hope not. It's a scary feeling. They are a bit scared. But just then, Sam's bells ring. Now they look happy. Sam's bells help them get back to the campsite. When they get back, Jen hugs the mule and says, Sam, you and your bells saved us. 
the end. Now it's time for our word of the day. And today's word of the day is boy. Say it, let me hear you. Boy. Very good. How many letters make up the word boy? Wonderful. Three letters. And they are B O Y. Wonderful. Now, Today, we're going to learn how to say boy in Spanish. In Spanish, we say el chico. Say it, let me hear you. El chico. Again. Very good. Say it together with me. El chico. Muy bien. That means very good. The word boy in French is le garçon. Let me hear you. Wonderful. I'm going to say it one last time. Le garçon. And in Creole, we say ti garçon. Very good. Let's say it together. Ti garçon. Wonderful. So the French sounds like Creole. Sometimes it's the same word. Very good boys and girls for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story because I did. See you next time. Bye-bye.